it's not working. I'm Josh Campbell, and we're going to be talking about brain diseases today. All right, uh, all right guys, as you see, this is a brain tumor right here. Um, it's basically a CAT scan of, um, of someone's brain. Uh, here it is right here, and over here, and you can see it right here too. What a brain tumor is, is pretty much, uh, it's a bunch of cells that, um, for some reason, they're like, you know, cells are usually supposed to grow and then and divide, and, and then eventually they die. But uh, what, a, what a brain tumor is, is like a clump of cells or a mass of cells that continue to grow. And um, if they do continue to grow, they could also uh, damage the brain. Or, uh, you know, some, some, by somehow uh, causing the dysfunctions uh, within the brain. So that's what a tumor is. All right, this is called a uh, carotene stenosis. And uh, basically, it's a artery or a blood vessel that runs and supplies blood to your brain. Um, it has an external artery, internal artery, and most of the time there's plaque that builds up in the internal artery. And if that uh, artery uh, gets blocked or passively gets blocked with blood flow to the brain, it can uh, produce many different brain dysfunctions, uh, allowing the brain not to work properly. All right, guys, what we have here is a cerebral aneurysm. Uh, basically what that is, is when the uh, artery starts to balloon and blood collects in there. And uh, when this happens, it can, it can cause problems with brain functions. And, uh, and if it bursts, it could get even worse. Uh, this could also be caused by the carotid arteries being blocked. And, uh, and things could go really bad there. Um, dementia is uh, basically a, a disease such as Alzheimer's, um, which is affecting um, uh, cognition. So it, it affects either, either um, you know, um, your, your judgment and behavior, uh, memory. A lot of times, like with the Alzheimer's, people can't remember things. Um, your language, uh, you know, your speech, how you're talking. Um, it also might affect uh, motor skills. Um, you know, the, the way uh, you perceive distance and, uh, you know, when you have insight on things. Um, so there's these different areas of the brain are, are, what are affected by um, dementia. All right, folks, this is what happens when you have epilepsy. This is an epileptic seizure. Um, oftentimes it is unprovoked, but uh, it has many different uh, triggers. Uh, it can be flashing lights, loud sounds, familiar smells, familiar places. Uh, but how, what this is happening is basically it's an excessive buildup of cortical nerve cells and, or activity in the brain, um, which is basically like proteins that build up in the brain and uh, people just can't process brain thoughts and this happens. And uh, most of the time it uh, can be lifelong, but most of the time it's not lifelong. Uh, it's usually in uh, early stages of childhood from about 5 to 13 or 14. Um, there are rare cases when uh, People do have lifelong symptoms, and this is what happens. Here is hydrocephalus, and um, it's also known as water on the brain. It's caused by an excess buildup of cerebral spinal fluid. Um, it normally occurs in premature infants. Um, the life expectancy isn't normally very long because of the pressure that this puts on the brain. What's up, guys? You're talking about multiple sclerosis white matter in the brain. Uh, it's an inflammatory disease uh, about the uh, insulating covers of nerve cells in uh, brain and spinal cord. Um, this one, they're damaged, producing this crap. Um, it is found more in women than in men. Uh, basically, uh, there's no known cause of it, uh, and research for curing the disease is unclear. Um, they're not really sure how to cure it, but they have had some research in it, and women show more uh, signs of recovery than men do. Um, typically, the life expectancy of this is five to ten years. Uh, basically, this stuff will basically engulf your entire brain, 
and basically eating your brain alive and will turn you into a living vegetable. Um, it, is the, uh, it destroys the immune system and is a failure of uh, myelin producing cells to also produce protein. Um, this is uh, obviously a diagram of Parkinson's disease. Um, Parkinson's disease is basically a deterioration of nerve cells um, in this part of the brain that affect um, muscle movement. Um, you know, and it can also lead to uh, dysfunction in um, taste and smell. You know, some of the things like senses, uh, touch, and uh, stuff like that.